Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I have a really cute and very easy fun fold. So we open up like this and then like this. And this is where you're going to write your to you love from me. And then we've got a lovely embossed panel toward the back. So let me share how I created it. So I have a piece of cardstock here that is 11 by five and a half. So it's nearly a whole sheet of cardstock. And I scored it along the long edge at one and a half, four and an eighth, and six and three quarters. And what we're going to do, how we're going to fold this is with this long, this bigger panel laying flat, you're going to fold this piece over like that and put your fold in. Then we're going to fold the next fold back, add the fold, and then this one finally like this. So then we've got our sort of three, one, two, three, four panels. So there we have that. Now, first of all, I'm going to add the panel that has been embossed and this has been embossed with the Xenia embossing folder and I have used the new colour basic beige <coughs> excuse me you can see it's picked up a really pretty pattern and we're just going to go ahead and stick that bit down first and then this card has got quite a few little bits. So the sooner we can get uh, some of them sort of stuck down, the least likely I am to actually lose them. Now, this is the decorative paper that coordinates with the zinnias. And this is called... Let's see, flowering zinnias. And you can see that there's different florals. And then on the back are more plain, plainer colours that you can use. I mean, this one would, would make a great guy card, I think. So those are that's our paper that we're featuring in this. And so I'm going to add a panel. on the second panel going in. So that's our second panel. And then I've got these two uh, pieces and I'll tell you what the measurements are momentarily. So they're all five and a quarter long and Oops. This one, this larger one here, is um, two and three eighths. And then there's these two smaller ones that are one and one quarter. So we're going to stick this one down here. So my card base today is. Uh, mossy meadow which is one of the colors in the paper and I thought well you know it's quite a nice if I want to say neutrally green I know it's not a neutral color but it, it's it's kind of got a bit of a an, um, a neutralness about it then I've got my uh, panel this is the one that I'm going to write. I'm going to write my to you love from me. And for my stamp set today, I am using the coordinating stamp set called Simply Xenia. And I'm using this leaf and the thank you so much. And then the lovely dotty stamp. If you know me, you know, I love the dots. So I'm going to add my leaf 
here in the top right hand corner, top left hand corner, Cindy. You don't know your right from your left now. And while I've got this in my hand, I'm going to do my envelope as well. Because I do like to have a stamp on my envelope if at all possible. So there's that. And then I'm going to pop my, my greeting. So I am putting thank you so much. And so I don't have to fret about getting it lined up, centred, straight. I'm going to just do it along the cross the corner here. And so I've got my lovely greeting there. Right. So I let that dry just for a few moments. And then I'm going to work on the little fancy um, diamond shapes on on the card. So again, I've got so I've got some mossy meadow, and that measures one and five eighths by one and five eighths. Then I've got some basic white, which is one and three eighths, and then I've got one and a quarter by one and a quarter for my decorative paper and i'm only going to use two squares of decorative paper because i'm going to do a little bit of stamping on the third one so we just add our adhesive and i always like to put my adhesive on the smallest piece of paper um, or card that I'm going to be sticking together because then I know how far to put the, the adhesive. Otherwise, if it's the larger piece, I don't know where the edge is going to be and if it's going to be too much and start sticking where I don't want it stuck. So this particular design of paper, this sheet, doesn't have a direction so we don't have to fret about making sure we got it going the right way all right so now i'm going to just do a little bit of stamping on my third white square like that and then with my cute little dotty stamp and the new basic beige ink I'm going to do a little bit of stamping off stamping so I'm going to put ink on my ink on my stamp then I'm going to stamp off on my paper, a bit of scratch paper, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of background stamping on, on there, just to kind of give it a little bit more presence. And, of course, to use that dotty stamp. Right, so let's just get this done down together. And I think this will be dry enough for me to add. We've got a little bit of extra adhesive there. Might have to just ease that off. Squeezed my little bottle of adhesive right at the wrong time, but we're good. So there we've got our all my panels in line. And now we can attach these. Now, I... Um, recommend 
that you put the first and the last one in place first. And we have to be very careful to make sure that we don't put adhesive on the whole piece because some of it's going to be hanging over. So let me do that one first. And I'm lining up my points to the edge of the card. And I'll show you that now. And you can see how the point is actually on the cut edge. And I can do, if I do it this way maybe, so we're just going to go catty corner with the adhesive. And then we're going to line that up, line that up like that. Now on my original card I added some ribbon and what I did was I, I pierced through my fold here and threaded it through and so this is how I did it. So I've just got a mat here that won't um, matter if I mark. It's kind of a self-healing mat. Now this here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen squares. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's my center point there. And I'm going to get my scalpel. So this is my take your pick tool with one of the additional um attachments tools which is a um scalpel so please be very very careful um and i'm just going to tr cut a slot that is about a quarter of an inch either side of my center point so there we have a nice little cut through I think you can just see there so we're going to feed this piece of ribbon through I'm just going to use the pointy end of the piercing part of my thing my tool and I want to put the cap back on but do you think I can find it there it is because I'm fearful of stabbing myself right so we've got because it wouldn't be the first time I actually sliced my finger open a few about oh best part of 20 years ago I think now with a butter knife yes I said a butter knife so if I can do that with a butter knife I'm just as likely to be able to do it with a scalpel. So we're just going to just tie a simple knot. So it's a flat knot for those of us in the States and a reef knot for those of us or those who are in the UK. And just we're just going to trim off those extra pieces because they've started to fray and they're a bit on the long side. And just to make sure that things do not move, I like to put a glue dot underneath that knot there. And that way, things will be pretty stable. And we've got a couple more things to do. So now I've got that there. I've got my final little piece so let me see let me put this here so it's easy for you to see so i'm going to put this piece on this fold so just before the to you love from me panel here and we are going to line up the corners and also center it between those two other little panels so right so there's my corners 
lined up with the edge and then I've got a nice distance between the two and as you can see I didn't use any dimensionals at all on this because we've got quite a few card layers and I really don't want to put any more sort of thickness so then we've got these adhesive backed shiny sequins and look they come in all the colors that's in this paper so I am just going to knock myself out and just scatter some all over my card one of each I think let's do one of each because all of these colors are in the card now then is that a yellow or is that that one that's that one all the colors are in the car in the paper so you might as well just go crazy so there we have a very very simple but effective fun fold that features the Xenia suite of products well I hope you've enjoyed this one if you have perhaps you'll go ahead give me a thumbs up if you don't already subscribe perhaps you'll do that and share and any comments you have please just go ahead and tuck them um, in the comments below and uh, I'll enjoy reading them and any questions I will answer them for you so that's it for today thank you very much for spending some time with me and I look forward to seeing you next time bye bye for now